the the culture of the Ravens is very it's high intensity. You know, run to the ball. Just a lot of things that I've been hearing over the last four years. So um, you know, just getting used to being in a different role, not calling the plays, listening to the plays. So um, it's been fun. I, I've enjoyed it so far. Even Secretary Davis has said they were trying to work out a way for you to be able to play. Is there an update on that? How that's been going? I know as much as you do. So <laughs> uh, I'm just going along with it as as I'm told. Were you encouraged though by what he said? He said you were an asset. And Maybe they might be able to work something out, but it's up to uh, a higher level. Yeah, it was great to hear that. Uh, but again, you know, like I said, I just do what I do, do my job, and, and worry about what I can control. Can you, who facilitates that discussion? Is that you? Is that the Ravens? How, how's that getting worked out? Facilitate? You mean by like ask permission? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that I mean that's going through me. Um, that's my request. Um, but again, like I said, I, I submit it and then I just wait. And with that submission, do you submit suggestions for how you think you might be able to also serve and play? Or? Uh, no, it's it's not. It don't work like that. I can't really I can't really disclose exactly what it, what what the details are. But um, uh, I don't really get much say. I just again do what I'm told. And at what point did you sort of come to grips with the fact that if I'm going to play in the NFL, I may have to make a position change? And was that difficult? As much success as you had at quarterback, was that a difficult thing to accept? Um, I think it was from the beginning when I when I got invited to the Shrine Game. I saw that uh, I wasn't a quarterback anymore, and I was like, oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I was like, well, this is an opportunity to, to pursue the dream at the next level, and I'm embracing it with everything I can. I mean, there's been several guys that have come before me that have been able to make the transition successfully. So I've been trying to model my game after them, talking to them, and just hearing what they have to say. So at the Shrine game, you saw it, like, on the roster when it was handed to you? When did you see your – So I, I accepted an invitation, and then somebody tagged me in an article, and then I looked at the article, and I was like, went through the quarterbacks, and then my name wasn't there. I was like, <laughs> I kept going, got to the running backs, and it was like Keenan Rooms. So I was like, all right, well, I'm playing running back. Then. And then my dad called me. He was like, hey, you see, you're a running back. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was a little upset, but I was like, hey, this is an opportunity to play. So. Who are, I mean, obviously, much has been made. I'm talking to Brian Mitchell, or is there anybody else you've sort of looked at, uh, someone who's made that transition? Um, Brian Mitchell talked to him a lot. I had an opportunity to talk to Heinz Ward. I know that's like a cardinal sin in this building. <laughs> but uh, we got we had to talk before the draft just to ease anybody's mind. But uh, yeah, so I talked to him because you know in, in in his college experience he did play wide receiver, but he also played quarterback, running back. He was all over the place. So you had to adjust to the new role of being a permanent wide receiver. So he gave me some tips and tricks and things to to work on to, to perfect my craft. I mean, his first NFL practice is pretty cool. It's stuff you dream about. So to be able to put that Ravens helmet on and, and be a part of the team is, is pretty cool.